Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about a topic universal design for learning. So universal design is a broader term and today we are focusing on learning aspects. So universal design for learning is giving and providing individuals equal opportunities and main focus is on the equity aspect. So universal design for learning is a set of principles. So they are having different sets of principles which is used for curriculum development, means the adaptation and modification of the curriculum development that is going to cater the needs of children with special needs. So universal design for learning is the providing equal opportunities, providing equal learning opportunities for all children and keeping in mind that we are not only giving equality expects but also equity also so just providing education and learning is not if enough we have to see that either we are providing the right standard and levels according to the child so universal design for learning is focusing on how we are providing instructional goals, how we are designing our goals according to the need of the child. Like for child with specific learning disability and for child with autism, we need to define instruction goals on separate basis. Both the child has different requirements, so we are going to alter both the goals. What are the methods we are going to use in our learning teaching areas? what methods we can adapt so that the child is able to understand that what we are teaching them and why they are learning those topics. What materials we are going to provide so that we can make accessible education for them. And what are the kinds of assessment areas we are going to provide them. Like for example, Let's take an example for children with specific learning disability. So we have to plan before going to the classroom that what instructional goals, what goals we have to take, what goals we need to design to achieve to the task, what methods we are using to teach the child, what activities we are engaging in our lesson plan, what materials we we are using like what PLMs we are using or maybe we are integrating ICT and what kind of assessment tools we are using for their assessment and evaluation. Either they are age appropriate or not. So universal design is basically education for all. Accessibility of education for all. So universal design for learning is that learning which is working or which worked for everyone not only a single person but for the everyone one size fits all solution but rather flexible approaches that can be customized and adjusted for individual needs so we are going to adjust the curriculum adapt the curriculum and modify the instructions as per the need of the child so universal design for learning is focusing on understanding students abilities and needs what the students want what areas to be included in their curriculum and identify curriculum standard and goals what areas we are going to focus and how we are going to make learning more meaningful what evidence proof learning we can use, what instructional goals we have to use, what technology or what the technology strategies we have to use for making our learning teaching process more beneficial. And last is the assessment, what evaluation and assessment type we are using to check the learning outcomes of the child. Because to check the learning outcome, we need to develop or we need to adapt some specified curriculum uh, specified assessment style according to the need of the child next is qdl characteristics so as we know that udl is catering the needs of every child so udl is focusing on diversity aspects 
UDL is offering students' choice. What the students want to learn, what and how the student wants to learn, what area of students want to uh, make more progress, what area the student want to do. So we are focusing on students' choice, right? and we are focusing on engaging every student's scaffolding learning. We are focusing on step-by-step -step scaffolding learning and yes, the collaboration of the students. So in UDL, the main focus is on the principles of UDL. So universal design for learning is focusing on its main three principles and three principles are multiple means of access, multiple means of expression and multiple means of engagement and assessment so three principles of udl is the most important one so first we are going to learn about the multiple means of presentation as the word presentation itself defined that how we are presenting our content to the class so multiple means of presentation is that how we are presenting our content material as per the need of the child in the class so presentation can be in different form as per the need of the child and the requirements like visual presentation if say if i say that my child is very good visual learner so i can use visual presentations ppts i can use in a my class integrating ict charts i can use enlarged print or enlarged text is used for basically for more useful for dyslexia child. We can use audio text support. If I say that the child is very good auditory learner, then I can use audio support. Multimedia presentation, integration of PowerPoint, graphics, designs, our visual aids, our auditory aids, all are integrated in the multimedia presentation. And we know that multimedia is the current scenario for these children with special needs. So multimedia is the best approach we can say use for children with special needs in classroom. And access to different sounds, files, or pictures. So multiple means of presentation is how we are presenting our material to the child. Like if I say, in my class, I have a child with dyslexia. So for the child with dyslexia, how I am going to present my content? How I am going to present it? Maybe the child is very good auditory learner. So I am going to use more auditory aids. And for the visual learners, I can use more visual aids. Similarly, we have different types of aids and different types of presentation style we can use for children with dyslexia. And for presentation, if I talk about some other disability, like if I say the child with autism, that the child with autism needs different presentation style other than the dyslexia. So for presentation, and for the child with autism, the main focus is on the three characteristics which we are working on. It means social representation, lack of social skills. These types of characteristics, these are the some characteristics of autism. So, so these are the some different kinds of presentation skills we are using for children with dyslexia. Now, multiple means of engagement, how we are going to engage the child in our classroom. So engagement is something related to collaboration teaching or collaborate teaching. So universal design is focusing on multiple means of engagement. So how we are going to engage our child with special needs in a classroom by providing different audio visual aids and hands on experience for the child multimedia projects we are going to provide, project-based inquiry we are going to provide, email projects, so cooperative learning projects. So all these engagement styles we are going to indulge in our classroom so that the child will be engaged in our teaching learning process. And keeping in mind that whatever the engagement things and whatever the engagement tools we are giving to the child, it must be age appropriate and the level appropriate. 
नेक्स्ट इज दी मल्टीपल मीन्स ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन सो एक्सप्रेशन इज गोइंग टू हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्रेस और द चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्रेस टू आर देन वी कैन यूज की बोर्ड विथ स्पेलिंग सपोर्ट फॉर चाइल्ड विथ डिस्ग्राफिया अडेप्टेड की बोर्ड्स एंड कलरफुल की बोर्ड्स आर मोस्टली यूज podcasting we can use multimedia tools like powerpoint window presentations video makers we can use drawing areas video or digital photo reports graphs all these are the different types of expression tools for the child now just a small difference what the teacher is providing and what the students are doing. yes so for flexible options for student engagement we are going to engage these students how choices which engage students interest make them more meaningful challenges them appropriately and motivates them to learn new things so we are going to engage our students by providing them different their interest areas expects providing them different tools according to their interest challenges they are learning and challenges them appropriately so that they are motivated to learn new things next is flexible ways of presenting lessons content what are the ways we are going to use to present our learning teaching material options for students like how they are learning their learning style we have to keep in mind it gives learner various various way of acquiring information and knowledge third is the flexible means of expression and assessment areas so expression is related to students and assessment is also their learning outcome so we are going to keep in mind that what choices they are having and are they age appropriate and level appropriate according to the student needs so we are going to cater them choices for how they demonstrate their learn so next and the last is equality and equity as we said that udl is focusing on equality and equity so equality is giving people same thing and equity is fairness and justice to every situation and udl is focusing on equity aspect so just have a quick revision we have studied about universal design for learning it is a it is a approach that caters everyone needs one size fits all solution we can say its name and it's a set of principles for curriculum development that gives equal opportunities for all and udl provides instruction goals methods material and assessment adaptation and modification universal design for learning characteristics are addresses diversity students choices staff for learning and engages every student and mostly important fosters collaboration so we have studied three types of prim principles multiple means of presentation how we are going to present our content multiple means of engagement with respect to students and multiple means of expression and assessment as per the choices and the level of the child and this is the main and short difference between the teachers providing what the teachers are providing and what the students are learning and main is udl is focusing on equity aspects more than equality right equality is giving people all the same things and equity is fairness and justice to every situation like you see in this picture so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day